Welcome back to another episode of Ham Radio Playground. In this episode, we're answering viewers' questions. In a recent video we did reviewing the UV5R Mini, a viewer commented and asked, can the UV5R Mini receive and transmit on the marine band frequencies? I don't know. That's not something that's in my wheelhouse. Well, I mean, essentially it's radio, so it is in my wheelhouse. I don't mess around with the marine band frequencies. So, great opportunity to test and find out. What are the marine band frequencies? Well, let's take a look. Marine band frequencies are primarily in the VHF range, typically 156 to 163 megahertz. And they're broken up into channels. So channel 16, which would be 156.800, is an international distress and, safe, and safety and for calling. Channel 9, which would be 156.450, is for hauling marinas and bridges. Channel 13, 156.650, is navigation safety, ship to ship and bridge to bridge. And channel 12 is 1. 56.600, and that is for vessel traffic service. The rest listed here are primarily NOAA weather, radio, or automatic identification system frequencies. So, we have the frequencies. Let's plug them into a radio and see what happens. So I got Baofeng UV5R Mini, and I'm going to turn them both on. Actually, let me let me just uh, show you what we got going on here. So we'll turn both of them on. Frequency mode. Frequency mode. So I'm on the B VFO uh, for both of these, uh, and as you can see, I currently have plugged in there 156.600. So it allowed me to plug in that frequency. Let's plug in the rest. One, five. five. Oops. One, One five, five, six, six. Eight, zero, zero. It accepts it. It appears to be transmitting on it. The indicators all show that it's transmitting. Both the graph bar on the line and the light. So let's try the next. We received something on it. That one again, we can transmit on. Next one, one five six six five zero. One five six six five zero. That also is accepted. The frequency isn't tunable for the radio. It will tell you. And again, all the indications show that it transmitted on it. So now let's plug in the uh, channel 12, 156600. Okay. Now, if you look at our other radio, it's what we have that one currently configured for, right? So let's test out the transmit and see. Apologies for this interruption, but we have some breaking news. All right, well, apparently I wasn't paying attention to the monitor that shows me what's recording. When I did the test transmission to receive, it stopped recording. So let's try that again, just to make sure we got on here. I'm wondering if the RF and the feedback between the two radios being that close to one another caused some issues with our recording tool. So to show you, we are... 156600 on both of them. We're going to go ahead and key one up. And as you can see, it does work. I am still recording, so we are good there. So there you have it. A viewer asked a question. Will the UV5R receive and transmit on a marine band frequency? The answer is yes. Do you have a question that you're looking to get answered? 
post it in the comments on our videos. We're happy to dig in and get you the answers. If we don't know, we discover and learn, and we share it with you. That is the joy of this hobby. Learn something new every day. What do you think? Did you like this video? Give us a thumbs up. Didn't like this video? That's okay. Give us a thumbs down. Either way, it sends us a signal and lets us know what we're doing right or what we need to improve on. Do you know somebody else that could find value in this content? Share the video with them. What are you waiting for? And you know, I'm going to hit you up again. You're not a subscriber? Click that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything. It's free. What does that subscribe button do? Well, it tells you two, you want to see more content like this. It tells us you like what we're doing. And it opens up opportunities for you to win free stuff from Ham Radio Playground, including radios. That's right. We're giving away radios at key subscriber count milestones. What are the requirements to win? Well, it's pretty easy. The first one, be a subscriber of the channel. The second one, be in attendance on the live when we give away the radios. That's it. That's how easy it is to win a free radio. Oh, there is one other minor requirement. You must live in the United States. Unfortunately, the radios we have are configured and approved for operation within the United States only. We are working with our sponsor providers to allow us to give away radios to international locations where they will ship them out and they will handle that that piece of it for us. Alrighty folks, just got the notice from the park ranger. Playground's closed. Time for me to kick the sand off my feet and get out of the sandbox. Till the next